emergency supplies acceptable, and of holding a gas at all times. Be prepared to evacuate your home or shelter on the order of local authorities. Be suspicious of persons that exhibit signs of infection. Report these individuals immediately to law enforcement. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Double Art Angel, and this is this week's speed art video. So, like you saw in the intro, the theme is Last of Us, right? And I did this collab with my brother from the other side of the world, Illusion Design 20. Go check his channel also for his awesome part of this video. Anyway, we had as a challenge to make the Last of Us poster, but not just repeat from the web and change a little hue and saturation here and there haha actually build it from scratch so that's what we're gonna do today including yours truly aka moi and my friend as Joel and Ellie so instead of putting Pascal and Ramsey in the picture we added me and illusions design 20 he made one version and I made another version and this video is gonna Gonna be with a voiceover where I tell about my thoughts and uh, how I built the whole picture while in a time lapse. Anyway, I have a friend. Uh, this is Clicker Steel. Want some chips, Clicker Steel? No, 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 no. Not the hand. Not the hand. Chips. Oh man. Yeah. Those fungus brains. They don't know better. Anyway. Let's begin. Okay, so yeah, this project must be one of my favorites, really. Like getting to do something together with a, a friend of mine that is also an artist and makes a hell of a piece also, as you will see in, in the end of this uh, time lapse or video. And um, I started to build the background from scratch. So I had basically seen uh, this in my mind when I watched the first season's first episode and uh, saw these two buildings that had collapsed together and I remembered them also from the game back in the day when I was playing it and I thought it's so iconic for Last of Us I just have to add it in the poster. So the challenge in our uh, artworks were that we were supposed to add ourselves instead of uh, Pascal and Ramsey. And uh, so we basically took photographs with our DSLRs, me and Illusion Design, of each other and uh, in the right kind of pose. And then now just uh, with the help of some photo bashing and uh, stock footage, uh, I started to make myself become Joel. After this, I got uh, Illusion Design or Hashir's picture and uh, he and his friend had taken a picture with him in, with a twig in his hand that I just erased and added a the gun or rifle that Ellie is supposed to hold in her hands. I also changed his face expression to be more worried. I asked him to send a worried picture of himself and uh, added that in his face and blended it so it looks natural. Anyway, so I decided to go with this composition being a tri composition so that means that there's a foreground uh, that will be 
mm, somewhat blurry and a little more dark and then there's uh, the mid ground that has the subjects that will be the center objects and then there's a background that also probably will have some blur and uh, will be a little more light so this brings uh, the whole picture together and it makes so, uh, a kind of depth of field feeling So when I make art, I like to add a lot of textures to the uh, used stock that I am using. So basically here I made from a zombie model uh, from Neo stock or a Banshee. And with help of some clicker models, I bashed together my own kind of clickers. This is just uh, ch a change in hue and making the cloth a little more dirty and, uh, well, looking like it actually is apocalypse time. And um, with the help of brushes, and uh, I will actually have a tutorial next week on different kind of brushes and from where I get those for free. Of course, there are those that cost money also. And I do have licensed brushes also, but uh, for the most of the part, we'll check how you guys can make your artwork better with free brushes. I decided that the weather condition in this piece would be, well, s some kind of uh, after storm maybe. So it's it's kind of raining still, and it's very moist and uh, uh, a good uh, environment for the fungus that lives there. Not and uh, but also uh, by giving one light source to this picture. I added the sun in the far right, uh, lighting up some of the area. Not, not too bright, but also not totally in the darkness. Some hope in, in all this despair. And you will see later on here, uh, after I'd added some of these very detailed parts on on the wall that I built in the front. I, by the way, have these uh, metal rods also as PNGs in a zip file. I have done made these myself as stock pictures, so if someone is interested, please comment down below. I can uh, toss them for free this time. As you can see, overlays are my best friend also. 
So here also I use overlays as uh, uh, sunbeams are one of them and also uh, a small foggy part in the lower part of the city. I did use my technique of using a gradient layer also to bring down the saturation on the picture and making it more whole. And um, adding shadows made a lot. And here is the little special thing I've made. So I added, I decided to add a rainbow in this uh, despair of uh, landscape. But also, it's raining right now, so some splishes and splashes here and there. Made both with brushes, splash brushes and uh, uh, overlays that I have. And also remembering to, to paint in some of the, of the water drops and uh, uh, remember that water is reflective on the ground. Mm, since this was a poster, I googled ahead what kind of fonts are used and uh, made these also from scratch. Anyway, we are soon going to the reaction of both our pictures. You will see both mine and illusion designs, so let's jump into that. Let's start first of all with the mics and uh, wow, literally I don't have words to express and describe how much effort uh, we just did in this artwork. This is so wholesome and amazing. You can see the details in every aspect he just put. First of all, I just love the clicker in front of it that is here and uh, it's really giving the creepy vibes to the scene and yep amazing and just love that he just these uh, did these uh, amazing highlights on our faces and yes the part some and he just tried to uh, remove the stick i just have in my original picture and just place it with the gun that that's amazing love the snapper by the way and yeah mike you look so amazing damn yeah, man you look like you were officially a character from the movie and yeah i just love the uh, tiny detail that he just put behind that and that clicker here you can see the building behind that is really amazing that that's so realistic and just love the rain effect and some of the light rays coming into the scene there are a lot more light rays and a lot more uh, environmental changes so that means the sky the colors the overall perspective gets a lot more change the buildings get tilted and destroyed completely and after that <clears throat> you can say uh, a lot more climatical change also happens so yeah it, the way he just put this kind of potential and amount of great uh, greatness into this artwork is literally amazing just love the poster so much i just love that building behind uh, there behind ourselves that has some rainbow effect also so that is really amazing man fantastic job love it so much time to review my artwork next so yeah this is my artwork i just try to approach for the more cinematic stuff and yeah try to make some clickers at the behind to make it uh, a lot more i think creepy and yeah just try to uh, fix some buildings at the back of our uh, background i guess yeah and just try to uh, make the environment more intense like adding the intensity to the clouds with the multiple colors and yes I just try to make this whole scene with textures and molds so that it creates a lot more apocalypse feel by the way just love uh, the overall perspective I have in my mind that I created by the way I hope you guys uh, like it and let's see what Mike's gonna say about our artwork and his artwork also and what he has in mind while creating it and uh, I'll start with my own uh, art piece and I'm quite proud because I even though I say it myself this has to be one of my best works actually I finished the actual piece in three hours and then 
I put five hours to base put to only detail. So it's not my style at all. Like I have a vibrant style, but I still like it because it looks pretty nice. I'm I'm a self-critic, so it's really hard for me to to say anything good. Yeah, overall, it looks like a poster that could be part of the series. I and I mean, I put a little touch with the rainbow to it because, well, it's dark and gloomy otherwise, very dark and gloomy. And I wanted one light source to be present in, in the picture. So yeah, let's move on to Illusion Design's version. So, Illusion Design decided to follow the actual poster pretty much on point. And I think he did a good job in adding us to in the com composition and uh, the detailing in having the car wheels in the front uh, and all, all the buildings and so on since he has built this from scratch is magnificent it's i i love the way it blends all together i would have though added maybe a little more blur to the background or uh, a color layer that has the opacity about 10 percent or so so that you see a true perspective range in the picture you get a depth of field with that helps. So all in all, I like the bo both of these designs. Uh, they are different, of course, but still you can see the references clearly. And um, yeah, I love this collab and I really appreciate these kind of things. And this pushed me super much further in what I can do because I had a clear vision what I wanted and I had it also a clear vision how to implement it. Illusion Design did a, a magnificent job in remaking the of the poster without Pedro Pascal and uh, Ramsey. Remember to be a real clicker and click that thumbs up and subscribe to both mine and Illusion Design's channel for more content and awesome collaborations. I thank you, I'm Double Archangel.